Hey, what's going on guys? My name's Long Sensation and today we've got for you guys is some more Call of Duty 2016 news and information. Now in today's video we are indeed going to be breaking down a poster that I just received in an email around an hour ago. Talking about the email as well which contains some information in regards to Call of Duty 2016 and there is a few things that I do want to say before moving into this video. I do want to say that I've never heard of this person before. I've done leaks in the past and stuff like that. This is not from that same person. It is from someone entirely new. This could mean that, yes, this is indeed fake. I did do a breakdown video a couple of days ago of a reveal poster in which I diminished that that was indeed fake. So maybe this person has thought, I know, let's see if he can break this one down or something like that. So I just wanted to explain that very, very quickly. This could be indeed fake, but to me, it's very, very plausible. I've dissected this with a few other YouTubers and stuff like that. That, and we can't even find anything remotely related to this image which kind of proves that it could be somewhat plausible and somewhat uh, indeed real. So I will read out the email first and then we'll get into the reveal poster. The reveal poster will be down in the description below. Due to copyright reasons I'm not going to put it on the video but I will say when we get to that part that you guys can click on it and then I'll explain it as you guys are looking at the poster because uh, recently my Twitter did get suspended and I'm being extra extra careful so hopefully you guys will appreciate that but anyway guys let's get into the email so this is what it reads hello long sensation first off before i get into the information i want to present to you i just want to say i've been watching your channel for around six months now and i really love your content keep it up I stumbled across your channel via Charlie Intel after you posted some leaks in regards to Call of Duty Black Ops 3 and since then I've been hooked. Anyway, with Call of Duty 2016 reveal fast approaching, I thought I would let you in on some information. Just so you're aware, I've contacted yourself and a few other YouTubers with this information. Please ensure if this information is used that my email address is not revealed. The world reveal will take place on the 15th of April 2016 with a special one hour live stream and a trailer. The live stream will consist of campaign information but the team are also going to heavily talk about movement mechanics that will also be within multiplayer and the third game mode. Both Activision and Infinity Ward are deeply concerned with community response in Infinity Ward's next title and therefore marketing this year is going to be heavily focused on putting the trust back into the fans. Expect multiple live streams, gameplay trailers, Q&As and whatever ever else you can think of to be frequent over the course of the next six to seven months. Multiplayer gameplay will not be shown at the reveal. YouTubers are going to play a huge role as always in Activision marketing. It's expected that several YouTubers starting on April 12th will have promotional packages emailed to them in which they'll advertise the reveal on their YouTube channel, Twitter page and other various social media outlets. These YouTubers will be flown out to a special venue in which Call of Duty 2016 World Reveal will take place. Unfortunately, I do not have more information such as the name of Call of Duty 2016 as I only gained access to promotional material. However, it appears that Infinity Ward's title will have advanced movement mechanics, 3D movement, and will be set in the future. Another small thing to note in case you didn't notice is that from my own personal opinion, it appears that the promotional poster is almost an apocalyptic landscape maybe after a nuclear war or even set on a different planet. Wild speculation, but I guess anything is possible. Keep up the good work and I look forward to watching more content on your channel. Andy. So that is what the email did read and as well as this there was an image attached with the email in which you guys can now click on in the link down in the description below as the next part of this video I'm going to be talking about it, dissecting it, deciding if it's real or fake or not and uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy. So hopefully you've got the image on screen right now, you're looking at it, as you can see it says a new generation begins, Call of Duty, World Reveal, 4th of the 15th 16, which of course is the 15th of April for us guys living in the UK. So that is pretty much all we can see on the poster. We can also see the Infinity Ward logo as well as the Activision logo to the bottom right of the screen. But then we can also see some stuff in the background and there is quite a lot to take in. Now, of course, I do want to remind you guys once again that this was emailed to me by someone that I've never heard of before. This, of course, could be a fan doing a Photoshop or anything like that. 
But I do want to say that the Photoshop is done incredibly well. I can't really uh, figure out anything that could be somewhat wrong with this. The date seems to be in roundabouts the right time that a review will take place. It might be a little bit early to some people, but I honestly do think that Infinity Ward this year are going to do things a little bit early because going back to the email, he said that they are deeply concerned with the so-called you know advanced movement and stuff like that, and they want to bring back the trust in the fans. So that is definitely possible. Possible, that is definitely likely and this kind of coincides with the dates there the 15th of April 2016 now as we're looking at the poster we'll take a look at the background then we'll talk about the generation part and stuff we can see what appears to be one or two soldiers at the bottom right of the screen with some kind of bluish goggles possibly I did think that these could be zombies or something like that but I don't think that's the case it definitely looks like two soldiers running away from what appears to be some explosive in the background or maybe they're even doing an offensive assault on some place then to the bottom left we can see some kind of truck with some massive wheels these kind of remind me of wheels that would be on a very tricky terrain they look like they've got deep grooves in them you can just about see the deep grooves and it appears to be some kind of land cruiser who knows it looks like there could possibly be some guns on the front of that thing or on the side and then to the top left we have what appears to be some kind of plane or wraith. It definitely looks like the wraith actually from Black Ops 3. And uh, there is possibly what appears to be another one below it at a bit distance further away and then two more above as we can see two more little smudges there then we see the sun in the middle of the screen or should I say to round about the middle left and then finally to the top right we can see what is some massive absolutely massive machine and this kind of got me thinking well it kind of reminds me of Titanfall we know that the developer of Titanfall the head studio designer actually went to Infinity Ward for around five months they probably traded ideas or something like that that's Maybe he forwarded his own ideas and then uh, decided to go back to Respawn to do Titanfall 2 or something. But it definitely appears to be some massive robots. And this is definitely confirming, if it is true, that Infinity Ward's next title will indeed be in a future setting. Now, as of yet, we can't even see that there is Exos or any advanced movements within the game. Maybe they're suggesting that this game is going to be very similar to Black Ops 2, where, yes, there is advanced movements within the game, but they're not exactly needed to in order to do well I mean within Black Ops 3 for a prime example yes you do have thrusters but they're not really required in order to do well yes they help you get around the map a lot faster and stuff like that but they're not really required to do well they're not really required like an advanced warfare where pretty much everyone was boosting very very high and all around the map and stuff and it was a very very confusing uh, environment and game to play in uh, with Black Ops 3 it was a lot more grounded it was a lot more very very slow paced and I think that Infinity Ward moving forward with their game are going to try to do exactly the same within this game because well it just worked a lot well a lot better should I say with Black Ops 3 yes I know that's us we do don't really want to see 3D movement but as I've done videos in the past I've talked about that they was already one year in development of this game before they even knew that Advanced Warfare's movement was very very disliked so we'll just have to see how that plays out now let's quickly talk about the poster a little bit more we can see that it says a new generation begins on the top line this kind of reminded me of a new era arrives from Call of Duty Advanced Warfare I'll put that poster on screen right now for you guys but it is of course pretty different, a new generation begins, it could suggest that uh, a new generation of soldier, a new generation of machine or anything like that, who knows, but that is something that seems like it's going to be a massive part in this game. Now, let's take a look at it one more time and see what is actually fake about this poster because... Quite simply, I can't really figure anything out. I think the Call of Duty logo itself is, of course, just a Call of Duty logo. But usually when we get a brand new title, there is some kind of lines within that logo that suggest that it's different from all of the others, if that makes any sense. I'll put some logos on screen right now for you guys of Call of Duty Ghost, Advanced Warfare, etc. And you guys can see that there is lines in certain parts of the letters that depicts it from all of the other logos. And within this uh, logo, we can't see anything 
similar of the sorts, which could suggest that this is indeed Photoshop. As well as this, I mean, the background is very, very complicated. Usually when we get these hints, it's very basic. It's very basic in terms of just giving a little bit of a hint, but this is very out there. I mean, who knows when this is going to be revealed? It gives us a ton of information in regards to the game, and if it is going to be revealed, I would expect it to be revealed a few days before the reveal itself. Maybe they're talking about when he said the uh, YouTuber promotional think maybe this will be a part of that package or something like that as it will only be like three or four days before this reveal takes place so maybe that's something maybe it isn't I'm not entirely sure but I'm really curious on your thoughts in the comment section below let me know what you think of this poster of course you must have checked it out by now in the description below and just let me know what you think is it something that you believe to be real it's something that a lot of people are not going to like but you've also got to bear in mind that like I said in the previous videos and of course in this video that basically Infinity War did not know how the exosuit slash 3D movement was going to work until Advanced Warfare was released and by the time that game was released Infinity War was already one year in development of this game so they couldn't really go back. So that is something to bear in mind I think that if this is indeed real there's going to be a lot of people upset but we've kind of just got to bite the bullet so to speak and just move forward and move forward with this game. So let me know in the comment section below what you think I'm going to leave it there for you guys. I'm the Long Cessation. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.